hi and welcome back so let's go through the process of actually creating your uh, first Xcode project so if you go to the file menu and uh, choose file new project you'll be presented with this uh, interface here and this is where you uh, have a lot of action you have two categories which is the iOS category for developing for the iPhone and you have the OS X um, section for developing for the Mac uh, platform so oh, you need to select the OS X um, section here and then click on the application and uh, we will be developing a simple we'll be using a simple command line tool so this is what we're going to be using because it, it allows us to develop a lot of to write a lot of codes without having to worry about the user interface so we're going to be using the command line tool so select that and then select next so this is where you give uh, the product that you want to uh, the program that you want to write for example you can say my first program you can give it any name then um, the organization name you put the organization name then the company identifier usually um, this will be your domain name in reverse so for example if your domain name is mywebsite.com you will write com dot my website that's usually the way this is named then this is the most important part which is uh, you have to select the foundation rather than the C or the C++ just make sure you select foundation and then select the use automatic reference counting make sure that this box is checked I'm going to explain this one in a minute then after that you click on next and it's going to ask you why, where exactly do you want to save the uh, project so you can select anywhere on your uh, computer to save it so um, you can save it anywhere you choose so let's save it in uh, um, let's save it on the desktop for now and you can click on create so it's going to present you with this page but this page is not the most important page even though we're going to talk about what all this uh, means uh, in the future but right now don't worry about it what you need every time you create a project is the file that's called the main.m so under the name, you can see a folder here that says my first program and underneath it you see the main.m this is the part that you need is the uh, because for every time you write a program any program no matter how big it is even though if it's say 10,000 lines of code it doesn't matter every program will initiate from this uh, main.m so this is the uh, the starting point for any program that is written in most programming language that I've studied so um, yes so what we do now is let me explain to you the automatic reference counting uh, the automatic reference count was actually introduced in 2000 and 2011 so that's when it was introduced and uh, is now included in S code um, before the ARC, ARC support was included the program was responsible for retaining and releasing objects which basically means the programmer was uh, programmer was responsible for managing the memory uh, managing the memory is one of the th toughest um, um, task you can do in your programming life because um, you will have to be creating the uh, memory and at the same time you have to remember when to release the part of the memory that you have used so if you forget to release a memory that was used then the app will be using too much memory so for example if you've uh, used uh, 2 megabyte of memory then uh, you forget to release it then use another 2 meg so that means uh, eventually your program will be using a lot of memory and you have to understand that especially on an iPhone which has very very small memory it would be um, too it would be not uh, effective for you to be using too much memory for one app and uh, this is called memory leaks and if you release an object too soon then your app will crash so you have to be uh, very very careful about when to retain and when to release an object because if you release an object too soon then your application will crash but the ARC does this automatically for you without you having to write code 
to retain and to release objects manually. Memory management is programmer's uh, nightmare and the addition of ARC is a huge improvement to Xcode. And this is true. I mean, when I, I mean in Java, we have the um, automatic um, um, memory management as well. So you do not actually do a lot of, um, but in C, C language, you have to do a lot of um, memory ma management manually, which can be a pain in the backside. So uh, for Apple to actually add the ARC support, it is something that you know we should we should actually celebrate. So, and um, this is the uh, part I want to explain to you. So now that we have the basic skeleton of the um, of the um, Xcode, it's time to write our first program. Thank you.